So now that you've pressured up your cooling system after you've repaired the leak and it's held pressure for 10, 20 minutes at 15 PSI. So you've probably established that the leak has been repaired. One last thing you might want to do before you take the pressure tester back to the store or give it back to your friend is test your rad cap. So the other fitting that's in the box is for testing your rad cap. It's pretty simple. Your rad cap goes on one side, the pressure tester goes on the other. Then all you do is just pump it up and it should hold the pressure listed on the top of the rad cap. If it doesn't, it's time to get a new rad cap. Now, for those of you with hot rods with high horsepower motors that are running fairly hot and people that do a lot of driving in, um, in hot climates, a rad cap can make the difference between overheating and not. If it's not holding the pressure in, the, that few PSI that it's letting out could be the difference between boiling over and, and making it to the next stop. The other thing to consider with rad caps is that they're a two-way valve. If your hot rod has an overflow, it not only lets coolant out when it gets too hot, but it also allows the coolant back in once your motor is cooled off. So it's important that both of those different functions are working in your rad cap. Rad caps are pretty cheap and to prevent boiling over it's probably a worthwhile investment. So that brings us to the end of the pressure testing lesson. I'm Todd from howtobuildhotrods.com. Check out our other tutorials and we'll see you again.